Hi, my beautiful family. I'm sorry. Um, this intro is very weird. Actually, I filmed a full video, full review of a foundation, uh, of this foundation. This is the new Isadora Skin Beauty Perfecting and Perfecting and Protecting Foundation with SPF 35. And I have it in shade Nude 03. This is a foundation that's supposed to give you medium full coverage. It's going to protect you. It's going to, it's good for all skin types. Nice foundation. I mean, doesn't say a lot about it on the website. And I tried this on this video and I thought that I filmed an intro, but my camera for some reason didn't film. So I don't want to do that again because that's, that was the first impression video and this is the first impression. So I really want to pop up here and just tell you and do this kind of intro there where I look hideous, but it is what it is. I'm going to talk and show you more about this foundation. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So it doesn't say how long it's going to last on the skin, but we are going to try it. It's fragrance, fragrance free, which is very good if you don't like fragrance in your foundations. I know some of you don't like that. I have in shade 03 Nude. I don't know if that's going to suit me or not. I don't even care. I'm here to try the foundation. I'm kind of excited. I already moisturized my skin, but I'm going to use Milk, uh, Milk Hydro Primer, one of my favorite primers. One of them. I do have a couple of more favorite primers, but I feel like this is going to grab foundation correctly. It's been the one that I've been using a couple of months, so I'm going to shake this foundation. And I'm going to apply it with a sponge. We'll see if that will work out. And it's it's creamy. It looks like its shade is going to be nice. So let's go in with the sponge. I'm going to grab a mirror. I do also have a new concealer to try from Isadora. The shade sound, it looks like uh, it's good. And it smells like, it doesn't have fragrance, but because it has a high SPF, it smells a little bit like SPF. This side, I don't know, it's, the coverage is very light. And I'm using sponge, which of course absorbs a little bit of absorbs a little bit of the foundation. Let's see with the brush. And I don't like how it's going on with the brush, so I'm going to build it up with a sponge. It feels light on the skin, though I can smell the SPF. It is a medium coverage. I will prefer, of course, a little bit more coverage than uh, this one, but this looks like my skin though. It corrected a little bit of the skin texture, but it didn't cover everything. So this would be good like for everyday foundation when you don't want that heavy look. I'm going to kind of use a little bit more and spot correct. just to see if we can build up the coverage on the spots where I would like more coverage. The shade is working. I mean, it's not perfect match, but it's not terrible as I sometimes <laughs> use. I think it's hard to match foundation on websites, especially with the new shade range. You're not going to get the full coverage with this foundation, definitely not. So far it's looking good on the skin. Uh, uh, it does look a, real, a little bit uneven on my nose. I know if this primer and this foundation doesn't go together, I will definitely try this foundation with another primer too. Maybe my uh, hourglass. 
because hydro foundation hydro primer and maybe this foundation with high SPF doesn't work together because it looks nice here but it's sitting very weirdly on my nose. We're going to go in with the concealer. I have the new Isadora Camouflage Concealer in shade 02 or 20. And we are going to use that. It's a big applicator. It looks identical to Tarte Shape Tape. Oh, that's definitely a lot of coverage. Let's see. I'm going to be a little bit careful when I apply it. See if we can build it, if we need to build it up or... Oh, that's... Oh, well, definitely don't need to apply more. Oh, it's a little bit light, but... I do like the concealer a lot. I do like the concealer. It's very nice high coverage, but also very light, feels very light on the skin. I'm going to set everything and I'm going to, I'm going to set everything with some powder. But before I do that, the foundation looks nice. It's medium coverage. It's not full coverage. I don't think I'm going to get full coverage. I feel like if I'm going to apply more and more, it's just going to look weird. Uh, it works nice and it looks like my skin. So far, I'm liking it. Let's set everything before it starts creasing. Let's see. So now with the powder, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. It does look a little bit weird on my nose, but that's maybe just the primer because everything else looks nice. So I'll definitely try this foundation with another primer, but so far it's looking pretty good. I'm just going to finish my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I just finished my makeup look very fast and it's now and it's now 12.32 and I'm going to wear this the whole day and I'm going to do a check-in to tell you how it looks after a couple of hours. But right now I need to <laughs> clean my mirror because I can't see properly here. Let's see. Um, it looks very nice. It looks like my skin. Uh, it looks better also on the nose. It feels like it needed some time to set in. And it's not full coverage. I can still see my breakouts and uh, yeah, other discolorations on my face, but it, done ma it did make everything a little bit more even and nice. I don't know. I'll see how it's going to wear the whole full day. It feels very light. Doesn't feel like I have a plenty of makeup on. Does feel like I have something on, but not too heavy. So I don't know. So far, I'm really liking the foundation. It's like everyday foundation. Feels nice to have it. Those days, I don't want full, full coverage. So I'm not mad at it. I'm going to wear it. And I do like the concealer. I could apply a little bit more here, uh, but I'm really liking the concealer so far. Blended very, very nice. And yeah. I'll do a check-in and tell you what I think about these two products in a couple of hours and yeah, see you. Hi guys, welcome back. Well, it's now almost 8 p.m. and I'll be having this foundation on for around eight hours and I'll be touching my face so much today. Touching, not even thinking that I have makeup on, even if it has 35 SPF in. I usually feel the foundation on my skin. This one I don't feel. It feels very light. It's comfortable to wear. I didn't retouch. I didn't do anything. And I'm going to see myself for the first time in eight hours. I'll be having some guests over. So, uh, well, it's wearing off here my chin, and I'm not surprised that it did. And also wearing down here and here. I'm not even going to complain that it worn off on this part of my face because I've been touching my face so much today. I've been holding it like this. I've been like rubbing like this, going crazy on this part of my face. And it does look good. I like this foundation. The concealer is also very nice. It creased just a little bit here, but just one crease. That's everything what happened with that. Um, Concealer. So I really like this concealer. It's lightweight. That's my text. It's very lightweight. I really like like this concealer. I'm definitely going to continue using it. Uh, it's really good. It reminds me of 
Todd. It's something between Todd Shape Tape, the Juvet, and also and also the Huda Beauty one. It's some mixture of those. It feels like this one, uh, Juvet's. It has the coverage of that one or Tarts, and also the Huda Beauty's one. But it dries down to that matte finish. I like it. I really like it. I really, really like this concealer. So I'm definitely going to continue using it. And the foundation. I like it. It's definitely not full coverage. So when I have my breakouts, I'm definitely going to pick up another foundation. But this one is pretty good for that everyday makeup look. I really like it. Really, really like it. Definitely when I go outside right now, when it's a little bit more... It's still cold, but it's sunny, so... And I don't look oily. I have that natural glow, but I don't look creasy. I don't look oily. It doesn't look heavy on my face. It doesn't look heavy or on my cheeks and around my nose. It looks pretty good. Now I have mascara that transformed and flaked a little bit, but here where I have my glasses, it looks like it looks with every foundation. It looks, it looks nice on my skin. I think it will all even look better with, with another primer. Because in the beginning it was kind of hard to use it with the or blend it with the hydro primer from uh, Milk, but I'm going to Milk makeup, but I'm going to uh, try the Hourglass one. I do like this foundation, and I give a thumbs up. I'm surprised. I really like Isadora's foundation. All of the foundation that I tried from Isadora are beautiful. But also, if you're interested, I did buy the new Isadora Velvet Touch Ultra 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 cover compact powder foundation now this is in neutral ivory i don't know if the shade is going to match me let me just leave the mirror here uh, i bought this one this is more more like medium full coverage they do have a sheer one too powder foundation that they just released i think the shade is maybe i don't know maybe we can make it work uh, i'm going to try this one tomorrow so that video is going on my channel this week too so if you're interested to see what I think about this foundation and how it works on my oily or combo skin, then don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you're interested to uh, hear more thoughts about this foundation or if you're interested to get it in a giveaway. I can definitely purchase a couple of shades. Let me know down below if you're interested for that. I do like this foundation so far. So, so far, so good. Thank you everyone, thank you for watching and I see you in my next video. I love you all, bye!